YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie for the first time this year, uh, which means it's finally starting to cool down here in Vegas. And with that being said, I figured now was a good time to make an EDC video. Uh, I haven't made one of these in a long time or if ever when I really think about it. I know you guys have been asking for one of these for a while now, so here we are. You all know I like to make my videos short and sweet to the point, uh, so this video will pretty much be an overview of what I carry daily, how I carry it, and why. Uh, we're gonna break down some of the newer items that I carry that I haven't reviewed yet, but for the items that we've already gone over, I'll just refer to those review videos. Let's start with the basics, the first thing being my wallet. Uh, I've been carrying the Kiragami wallet made by Lunar Concepts and sold by Wiseman Company for the last couple of years. Uh, it's super slim, multiple pockets, and comes in one of my favorite color combos, multicam black with orange stitching. The wallet has held up very well and does what I need to do without being bulky, so I dig it. Uh, next are my keys. Again, keeping it minimal with my house key, mailbox key, and my car fob. Uh, I don't like a lot of bulk in my jeans pockets, so this is all I have in there. Uh, my key used to have a light up feature, but I broke it dropping it one day, so that doesn't work anymore, but it still opens my house door, so we're good there. Uh, next is probably one of the most important tools that I keep with me. It is my iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, I rock it in a clear sub case with one of our own pop sockets and a metal plate for my magnetic car holder. This comes in really handy when I'm driving around town, especially when I'm using GPS. Um, okay, now for some other tools. Uh, first is my EDC flashlight. Since I attended the Surefire Battle of the Bills event, uh, I've been carrying the Stiletto Pro flashlight from Surefire. Uh, during that training, we got a lot of time behind the light and I came to see its value. Um, some quick specs on this light. It's an all metal body with a max output of 1,000 lumens, a medium output of 300 lumens, and then a low output of 25 lumens, which is honestly what I end up using the most. Uh, it's kind of the one I use all the time because I'm always trying to find my keys or something else that I dropped on the floorboard of my car. Uh, the flashlight has two different activation buttons, one at the tail for immediate high output activation and a secondary one for low output when conducting admin type of work. Um, now something unique about this light is that it has a slim profile which is much more comfortable for me to carry in my pocket. I typically store it in my back left pocket so that it's on my support hand side and easy to access. Uh, so the little Pro is also rechargeable and has a high output time of one hour. Um, you can also program the light for different features such as strobe or different outputs uh, for the tail cap button. Next up is my everyday carry knife. Um, I rock the large underwater demolition team or LUDT automatic knife from Microtech. It's a solid knife guys. It's got quick snappy action uh, and I felt, I've been using this daily for the last year uh, well, since they sent it out to me. Uh, I keep this next to my wallet in my back right pocket. The knife is for common daily uses such as opening boxes or anything else that needs cutting. Um, I carry a second knife for defensive purposes which we'll talk about now. Uh, that would be the Northman from Amtac Blades. Uh, this knife and the training provided by Bill Rapier is what got me to start carrying a secondary knife for defensive purposes, especially, uh, specifically a fixed blade. I carry this at about the 10 to 11 o'clock position, uh, slightly angled so that I can draw it quickly with my left hand if needed. Um, you might remember this knife from a review we did on it about a month ago. Uh, next up is my Apple Watch right here. Um, I believe it's the Gen 5 version. Uh, I rock this in a spigen, rugged, armored black case. It's clean, minimal, and durable. Uh, I dig it and it works with my EDC layout. Uh, I typically run this watch most of the time, but I do have a variety of other watches like dress ones for special occasions, stuff like that. But typically I am running my Apple Watch. Uh, now for what everyone wants to know about, what gun do I carry daily? Um, well, it has been the Bull Armory SAS2 Viper 2011. Uh, I carry this with a Streamlight TLR7A attached to it because I like the new controls that Streamlight came out with and it's easy to conceal with this Compact 2011. I rock this in our Wingman Appendix rig with an additional magazine giving me a total of 31 rounds. Um, this Wingman holster happens to be wrapped in our comic book fabric print with a yellow secondary back piece. I also run the SIG Romeo Zero Red Dot on it. Um, I need to make a plate that will work with the Hollow 507K uh, since it has uh, only two uh, recessive posts. It doesn't really work with the plate that comes with it, so I'm working on like fabricating my own until there's ones that are released by Bull. Um, but yeah, I, would, I do want to change back that optic eventually. I'd rather run it because it's a metal framed body with actual glass instead of plastic for the lens. I will say this though, the Romeo Zero has held up well since I've been carrying it and I've had no issues with it. Now I do want to address a couple of things I've received questions on. Some ask, why carry a handheld light when you have a weapon light mounted on your gun? I get the question guys, but the thing is the majority of the time I'm using that flashlight, it's for daily admin stuff, like trying to find something in the dark. So I don't wanna be muzzling everything with my gun just to find my keys on the floorboard of my car.
There they are. Um, I also use the handheld to identify potential threats, like maybe someone near my vehicle. If I identify and need to draw my firearm, I will with one hand and then transition to my weapon light or keep a one-handed draw. Yo, man. Yo, what's in your hands, dude? Yo, yo. Fuck, Put whatever's in your hand. Drop what's in your hand. Drop what's in your drop what is in your hand. All Keep right, your hands right. in the air. Face away from me. Face away from me. Do not move. Do you understand? I understand. Do not move. Um, the next question I get is why two knives? Um, I also understand this question as well, but I wanted a normal looking pocket knife that doesn't draw attention when I have to do normal things like opening a box or something like that. Um, I don't want to draw a fixed blade knife just to open something. I think it looks a little like uh, aggressive, I guess, but definitely draws more attention than just pulling out a pocket knife and opening up and using it. Um, I like to ensure that both the knife and the firearm used for defensive purposes only come out when they are needed for defensive purposes only, if that makes sense with you guys. Now let's dive a little deeper into my EDC. Uh, with the colder months ahead, I transition into wearing jeans and hoodies versus shorts and t-shirts like I have been. Um, for jeans guys, I rock American Eagle jeans. They're comfy, they stretch, and they hold up well on the range. Uh, during their sales, you can get a pair for like 20 to 30 bucks depending on the style. Um, they come with a stretchable waistband, which helps with carrying a Penix all day long. I honestly don't even notice my holster and gun during the day, and I'm able to stand, sit, and drive without any discomfort. Now, you can't talk about pants without talking about the belt. Uh, I've been rocking the next belt. Uh, it's a Titan gray one. Um, it's, shoot, I've been rocking that thing since January when I met them at SHOT Show. Um, for those who don't know about next belt, um, they use a ratcheting system, so the belt is really easy to adjust. Um, it's not only easy to use, but it's also very durable. You see, it's my opinion that your holster is only as good as the belt you put it on. Um, when selecting an EDC belt, you want to make sure you get a belt with good rigidity. Um, a good rule of thumb for me is when I hold the belt horizontally in the air, it should stay parallel to the ground. Um, if it does this, it's a solid choice in my opinion. Now, what do I use to cover all this stuff up? Uh, well, if I'm inside, guys, I rock a t-shirt like this one from Vertix. Um, it's made with an extra soft cotton blend. It's got a printed tag, so no irritation, and it's super lightweight, making it really comfy. Um, this shirt manages to cover up everything in my waistline just fine. Now, if I'm outside, um, I'll tuck that t-shirt in and have it as a sweat guard between my holster and fixed blade knife. Um, I'll then throw on my Paradise hoodie from Vertix. It's their uh, new lineup, and I'll use that to cover up my gear and also keep me warm. Um, now, why this hoodie over others? One thing Vertix is known for is making gear for the everyday person to look normal and not so tactical. Um, this hoodie has an internal abrasion guard. It's got a, like, it's a special lining that resists wear from EDC gear like the grips on guns and textures on handles or stippling. Um, it's got a large kangaroo pocket in front that we all love to stick our hands in. The only difference with this one is that the pocket on this hoodie has the ability to uh, access your gear with a vertical zipped, uh, zippered pass through. So if you're like me and you're carrying in the appendix position, you can access your gun if needed in a close quarter type situation. Quick disclaimer guys, um, if you're familiar with the channel, you know I do a lot of uh, marketing with Vertix and I work with them a lot. They send me a lot of stuff uh, for free to use to take photos and, and put in collab project with our gear. So I do rock a lot of their stuff and I have been for the last few years. Uh, if you are looking to pick some up, check out our buddy Talon Sai. You guys all know him. He's got a really good code that gets you like 25% off uh, anything you want from Vertix. It's definitely a good code to have. Well guys, that is going to wrap up this quick video on my EDC for the colder weather months ahead. Uh, I hope this is something that you guys like checking out. If you did like the video, please give us a thumbs up down below. And if you had any questions on anything in the video that I didn't cover or stuff that I did cover, just let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to support our content, please check out our Patreon link down below. Patreon members get first access to new content, new gear, discounts, and giveaways. They are a big reason why we can continue to create these videos and we appreciate their support support. Guys, thanks for checking out the video as always, and I will see you in the next one.